Hi, my name is Taras Timchina, also known as the People's Cartoonist. I'm the uh, guy responsible for Third Wish and Your Half, the comics available at www.timedisorder.com. I've been working on them for two years now, and the fan base has grown, and people enjoy them, but I've decided to stop. It's January 1st, 2000, and I'm going to be spending the next year dedicating all of my time, money, and energy to be put into a Third Wish animated film, a little short cartoon done by me. I don't have any uh, formal education in animation. I took it in high school, but I really didn't learn too much. And uh, I've never really done anything like this before, obviously, so it'll be quite the experience. I've decided to videotape myself during this year and edit together interesting parts to be used as sort of a uh, the making of to add to the end of the film. So my promise is that before December 31st, 2000, I'll have finished an approximately four or five minute Thurwish animated cartoon and distribute it to the public for free. Hi. It's January 3rd, and the announcement I have to make for you, this particular installment, is that I wrote the script for the Third Wish Animated Short. It took um, about an hour to write. It's the first draft. But even though that's the case, my sister, who was my worst critic, said she liked it. Fantastic. My roommate, on the other hand, said that the punchline needs work. But it's going to be about 10 months or so, so I have to really worry about the punchline, so I suppose I could just uh, start production now. I suppose. This is my drawing table, by the way. You see, you gotta keep it quick, you know? Uh, but that's going to change today. I uh, made a makeshift uh, storyboard. Yeah. Let it dangle. Let it dangle. Okay, and then after we start, then we go again. Okay, one, two. Wait, 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 wait till I wait till I say go. Hold on. <laughs> all right, all right, ready? All right. One, two, three. Good morning. It's uh, the next day, and I still haven't really done anything. Could you get that from go? Thanks. The uh, glowing, blurry thing that's behind me is the Christmas tree. I'm thinking about leaving it up all year long on the slim chance that somebody actually comes down here. It'd be pretty funny if they found a Christmas tree. I'm still doing the storyboard, and I've barely even started, and I'm already straying from the script, and I've already got writer's block. Uh, you know, there's really no reason for me to worry myself about this since I don't have any of the animation equipment. I haven't ordered it yet. I don't have the drawing table or anything. I can't afford it. And uh, it's not so bad because I probably will be able to afford it in about a week or two. Thanks, Mom. No, it's uh, January 19th, and I finished the storyboard. <laughs> What's funny? What's so funny? How's the coffee? Coffee's awful. Hi, it's um, January 19th. I finished the storyboard, and here I am at the uh, local 24-hour small-town diner to uh, celebrate, in a way. I wanted to get some feedback on the uh, storyboard, from somebody who hasn't seen it before, so I asked the waitress, the whole thing, it's really short. I wanted to see, I wanted to, I wanted to get some feedback from somebody else, so I gave it to the waitress, who I'd never seen before, who works here. She's reading it now. It, 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 you'll, it, it's not that long. She's complaining about how long it is. That's typical. That's typical. Yeah. What when she's if she ever finishes, I'm gonna try to get her to get on camera and tell everybody what she thinks. Tie with comics. I don't like them. Right. I think that comics in general suck. Right. I can't I can't even get through Garfield. Like it's like too many squares kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard for me to get through something that long. It was funny. The drawings are really cute. But they're really cute. They're really cute. I like them a lot. The girl's adorable. Very, very comic strip girl. Very cute. Very cute. Very generic comic strip girl. 
Okay, that's good. I, I'll, that, I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Do, do you know what I'm saying when I say that? I know. I'm trying to give you like, like criticism because I think that criticism is the only way that you're going to make it any better. Exactly. No, feel free to be, be as cruel as you want to. Um, so, you know, it, it was good. It was funny. It was cute. I, I don't know. I don't know what else you want me to say. Ask any, me some questions. Any was, were any of the jokes, any of the jokes really bad? Were any of the jokes really bad? No. No? I don't think I remember thinking, oh, that's really bad. Like, that's really bad. But if it's really, really bad, it's almost really funny, too, because you just think, you almost laugh at yourself, and you're like, that's so bad, I can't even handle it, you know? A lot of people hate the punchline when the fat girl comes up, and she just, you know. Right. Yeah. That was fine. That was cute. It's cute. It's very cute. Go with it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's cute. I like it. I could. I would never go to a store and buy it, but that's purely based on my fact that I don't read comics. Okay. I don't like comics. If it was on TV, would you watch it? Yes. I could watch it. TV's totally different. TV's like... That's why I'm making a film. You're entertaining me, and I don't have to do any of the work. <laughs> you know? And I like to read. I'm not dumb. I can read a book, but... I don't know. Very good, very good. I'm, I'm impressed. Thank I am. you. I'm impressed. The drawings are really good. Very, very, very good. How's my hair? <laughs> Your hair looks great. Hello. It's been a day or two since I told you I wasn't feeling well. As it turns out, it got much worse. My throat has swollen. I can't really eat, drink, or tout. You know, tout. I can't tout. That's why I'm using my roommate's computer for this recording. I'm taking antibiotics and I haven't gone to work for almost a week due to the seriousness of this damn sore throat. Needless to say, I haven't drawn anything either. I wish I was dead. I'll tout to all of you later. The cat you saw, Satmo, is still as well fed as he's always been. And I still can't talk. I just came back from the doctor's office. Apparently my tonsils are very swollen. I have an appointment tomorrow to get them cut, or something, I don't know. Anyway, the doctor said I should drink hot fluids and get lots of rest. Well. That's what I've been doing for the past weekend, and it's only gotten worse. And since it hurts like hell, I think I better try an alternative form of medicine. Normally I only drink Basil, but I think due to the severity of the situation, I'd better take a shot or two of some good old-fashioned Irish whiskey. Now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Well, live and learn. It's many days later since my last entry, and the reason why is because I haven't done anything. I'm waiting for the animation supplies. I've completely recovered, as you can see. But I've had a lot of trouble. Everything else I've done has failed because I'm having a lot of trouble animating Dahlia. Uh, I can't really get the perspectives right. Because since it's animation, I've been able to fake it in the comics, but I can't anymore. I explained this to my company, 
And she suggested that I go out and buy a doll, a toy, a toy doll, a doll, a doll. It's a good suggestion. There are lots of animators and cartoonists who use dolls as a reference, but it just seems... <sighs> bought the doll and I hid it behind my printer. I don't think anybody's going to find it. Happy. <laughs> the tape finished, and so we're uh, resetting it. The, the tape, no, just keep going. Keep okay. Going. All right. Uh, scene five. I don't get it. <laughs> she keeps talking, and he doesn't want anyone to hear. It. This is a rather explicitly drawn uh, grabbing of girl shot here. You've got. I have no idea. I don't think anyone would ever try to record, like, someone reading their storyboards. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't really care much about uh, what people think about him. Because, you know, personally, I wouldn't want to be videotaped for a year. You know, this is, like, already too long for me anyway. Well... At present, uh, what I do do is I, um... <laughs> and I just draw anime stuff for the fun of it. Have you ever heard of TimeDisorder.com and Third Wish in your half? Yes, I have. What is your opinion of them? They're awesome. Do you know who makes them? Not a fan, but I visit a lot. <laughs> no, if you met him, what would you say? Uh, rock on. <laughs> what is your opinion of them? Well, um, your half is quite interesting, especially that one part where he had the, um, the moving guys coming in and remodeling the whole damn house. That was interesting. Uh, <laughs> I haven't read the newest Third Wish still yet, so. What would you say to the guy who created those comics if you met him? He's a sick bastard. I like him. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Third Wish or your half? No, I haven't. Uh, uh, sorry, I can't say I have. It's okay, thanks a lot. And I hope that other people enjoy my renditions of them. I I really just like to draw designs that I find interesting. Some of the work in there is original, because I do enjoy doing a lot of original things, too. Have you ever heard of Third Wish Your Half? Yes, I have. What is your opinion of them? What is my opinion of them? The artwork's really tight. I like it. And? And I think that... Um, Feel free to criticize the story. That's what I want to hear. Um, well, to tell you the truth, I've only read a little bit of it. What I was reading of it, it seems like very spo like spontaneous. Like, um, I didn't read enough of it, I guess, to catch like a full story continuity. But what I liked about it the most, I think, is that artists seemed like he was having fun drawing it. And I know like when I try to draw like a manga or something, a lot of times I get so caught up in what's supposed to be technical or what people want to read about that it doesn't become fun anymore and I have a hard time finishing anything but the third wish is very it's like pumped out like it seems like it comes out pretty quickly and it seems like it's um I don't know it just seems like the artist has a lot of fun with it and it just wants to draw what like uh, he enjoys drawing and doesn't doesn't really um isn't really looking for a specific audience so therefore like the art is more true almost in a way what is your opinion of them your wish, third wish. Th third wish, I wasn't that impressed with the one that I read. I thought it was kind of offensive. And your half I thought was cute. It was a cute story. Oh, sorry. What would you say to the artist if you met him? The artist, I would say he, his stuff has great potential, but he needs to practice more and possibly take some life drawing classes. Never heard of either of them. Don't know much anime. Don't know why I'm here. <laughs> I don't know, I just like the storyline, it's, it's kind of fun. You keep throwing different stuff in. 
do realize you're being taped here. Yes, I know I'm being taped. I'm putting up with it. <laughs> okay. Normally he just rips out the film all the time. Uh, I also do a lot of freelance illustration, and uh, hopefully we'll get some jobs soon. Yay. Actually, I haven't. I'm afraid not. I haven't heard of that at all. Those sound familiar. TimeDisorder.com. Time yes. Yes. I've been there many times. Wait a second, are you him? Yeah. I remember you. You gave me the pen. What pen? Cherry. Talk loud into the mic. The, the yellow pen. The yellow and black pen at Otacon. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Third Wish in your half? No, I haven't. <laughs> no. I'm being motioned by the cameraman that I need to be louder. No. All right, thanks a lot. Seeing as how I've only read the sample comic, uh, I guess just keep up the good work. It seems to have a really good plot, and I like it. I'm probably going to pick up more if I can. Um, yeah, I've been to the website. I'm on the mailing list. I think it's a really good comic, and it's really funny, and has a lot going for it. No, I have not. No, I have not. Have, have you? Oh. <laughs> oh, of course. They're great. They're my favorite comics. <laughs> Okay, okay, they're my second favorite, actually. I like Sluggy Freelance. You really heard of them? Yes, I have. I'm on your mailing list. <laughs> yes. Yes, I saw you at last Autocon. <laughs> uh, different without the suit and glasses, you know. <laughs> yeah, you look good. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm here at the Anime Con being a real goober, like everyone. Thank you. Here I am in the hotel bathroom. And um, I'm really grateful for everybody and their kindness uh, for the little interviews that I had. It was very funny and very sweet, and most of them are extremely talented. All of them are. And most of them are better than I am. But you can see why I don't like this sort of thing. I hope you can. Anything else? Bye to the kids. All right, bye. You know, the reason why it takes so long for me to do these comics and for me to do this film is because I work full time. I have a normal full time job, and this is it here now. Do you want to do you want to talk to some of the people who work here? Come here. <laughs> you can see yourself inside. Don't sit so close. Don't stand so close. Okay. Say hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Talk about my job. It sucks. It we sucks. Hate customers. We hate customers. I hope they all die. You know, I, this is all. Fucking idiots. This is all predictable. All this is all predict. You know, I hate customers. I don't like working here. It's the traffic's bad. There's no parking. This is all bullshit. This is not nothing original. Mm -hmm. You know, this is. This we can tell Bob Avant stories, but then only computer stories. And then you don't talk about particular. Oh. People either. Why not? What is this for? It's for me. Right, okay. Um, we can talk about Ryan. Va Ryan. Bob Here. Do you want to hear a call? Yeah. Can this be Frank? Go home. Internet customer support. Terry speaking. Can I have your user ID, please? You're being charged. 19.95 a month. The reason why it was an increase in the price was because you signed up for a promotional offer of 9.95, and that ended last year. Now you're going to be charged 19.95 a month. That's the normal rate. That would that would be us. Yes, that that's us. Thank you. Bye. This is my job. You know, I used to I used to work in theaters. I used to run. I was a projectionist. I used to run movies. I used to um. I used to work in sales in Manhattan, wore a suit and everything else like that. And I used to be a cab driver. And now I answer the phone. Hi everyone. Um, first off, I want to say how grateful I am that all of you are still watching this film. It's very kind of you. And second, I think the time is, I'm, I think the time is right for me to tell all of you about a, a problem I have. Uh, it involves my job, and uh, I'll show it to you right now. Please understand. You see, the cupcakes that I want are over there. They cost 75 cents, but they're behind an empty slot, which means that I have to pay $1.50 to get them. 
I don't want to pay $1.50 for these cupcakes. But I really want them. Hmm. I tried shaking the machine back and forth, but it didn't work. That's probably how the first pack got lost in the first place. Life could be so cruel. You know, I realize that my problem is solved. I realize that if your problems only cost 75 cents, you should be grateful. And you want to see my check? Want to see how much the people's cartoonist makes? $800. Two weeks of work. I spent, I'm spending far too much time taping myself in, out and about and not actually working on the film. And then maybe we could talk a little bit about animation. As if I knew what I was doing, you know? There are lots of, there, there aren't lots, there are a few great animation programs um, available for people who are doing exactly what I am, but... But they, but they, but they cost too much money and I can't afford it. Ah, I'll be going back to Jersey in a couple days. I'm wearing this for three reasons. One, because it looks funny for the film. And uh, two, is because of the fact that I think it might be useful because people will be uh, more forgiving if they see me wearing something like this and I'll probably be able to instigate more interesting scenarios. And uh, three, because everything else is in the laundry. And I'm about to pay a toll. It's a dollar. This is Baltimore. Sorry about that. Hop on the bus, you don't need a discuss much, just hop on the One of the very few, st one of the very first few drawings I've ever done. Actually, it's probably the only real time disorder drawing I've ever kept. Right behind me. And I'm very happy that I came home with a white shirt. Crispy, crispy. And this is for the Jake. What? Now you got it. Now, oh, because they're eating. Hi, this is uh, Edgewater, New Jersey, and I am not going to Manhattan. I'm at my sister's apartment. This is my sister. Hi. And I've shot about two hours of raw footage for this documentary that you're watching now. I'm going to play it for her and tape any interesting things she might have to say. And my first observation is that it is so obvious from the onset of this that Terry is so much more into this little video documentary and getting himself on camera than in the animated short. Oh my god, this guy actually knows your storyline! Not getting how funny it would be. A doll that looks like Dahlia? Oh my god. Not thinking it would be very funny. You know why Sweetie and Ma laughed, right? The sp same reason why I'm laughing, because any girl could open that package with so much less, less effort than you're using right now. I mean, come on! Was that just because of your throat? It's like no one exactly taught him how to shave his face? It's plain to see, especially how the lather goes all the way up to here. And don't make fun of these people. I'm so impressed that these people who aren't members of your family 
fun. Go to the website. Not very funny to see a Christmas tree. <gasps> and you're going to make fun of these people. They're, look, they're fans. They're wonderful. It's fantastic. That's so cool. He actually, I mean, he does more than I, I I've read everything a million times and I couldn't come up with something. And you shouldn't be so mean. Uh, I think it's a nice idea, all in all. Bye and wave. Bye. 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 There's been a fire. There's flames everywhere. There's fire trucks. No, I'm joking. Hi, Ma. The fire is gone. It wasn't really a fire, it was just like a lot of smoke. And I saw the fireman breaking the windows out and stuff. It was really like weird. Oh. <laughs> Satchmo's okay, I'm okay, everything's okay. I'm almost done sketching all the pencil tests in the first act. Do you want to see the, uh, the clerks? Here, I'll show you. You know, not only are there trees back there, but there's uh, train tracks, too. When I first moved down here, I uh, was walking around by the train tracks, doing a little exploring, and uh, I found a, a big, decapitated turtle. Give them your, their opinions and things like that. Sure. At least two of us have read... Well, I've read all of the Third Wish and Your Half comics that are out there. Uh, one of the guys has read probably about a third of both of them, and the others will probably be pretty open to it. The last person who should be showing up, but I'm not sure if she's actually going to do it. Opinion. You never read this sort of comic before, and most of the people here will have no idea what's going on, and so your opinion will actually make sense to them. Some of the dialogue was good. I thought some of it was snappy, um, but I didn't. The story itself didn't didn't do much. It seemed kind of choppy to me. I, I, I it didn't seem to flow at all. And I I don't know if you're trying to make a gag strip or or what exactly you're trying to do, but it didn't hold me. I didn't find it particularly interesting. Um, didn't offend me. I didn't find it offending. And I I was very impressed with the artwork too. Um, That's actually a good question. Why isn't she wearing any clothes? <laughs> Gibson and Dahlia would be pretty much the main characters. The Gibson's been granted three wishes. His first was for uh, Dahlia, who can shape change into anything. And second was for invincibility and immortality for the two of them. Their, their quest is sort of looking for their third wish. Goodbye. Remember how I was telling you that I was having problems with my job? Well, I think I solved my problem. Welcome to Atlantic City, New Jersey. Welcome to Atlantic City, New Jersey. I got yelled at for using the camera inside, so... I went in with $100 in quarters. And now I have far less than that. I wasn't the winner I thought I was going to be. Don't gamble. You know, I'm sure all of you have seen the ring that I'm wearing, the wedding band. I'm not married. I'm 22 years old. I'm not married. The ball and chain just wanted me to wear this, so what the hell. I'll do a drawing right now. It's about time I've done this already. That's all I'm going to do for uh, now, but you get the idea. Um,
crappy USB scanner that I've been trying to get to work in either of them for the past couple of hours, and I've had nothing but bad luck. It's a salmon. What do you call it? A ba gift basket filled with smoked salmon products. I need to get in close first and then turn it on. If I turn it on now, it'll run away. You know, before we do anything else, I really should announce who's responsible for this infestation. You're not going anywhere. Say hello to all the good people. This one looks like the one we had back at home, which is really undisciplined and a real pain, but he's good looking and chicks will dig that. <laughs> My sister uh, wants to see the dogs here, so uh, we're shooting a little footage so we can bring it back and see her opinion. Yeah. In order for them to agree to me videotaping the animals and everything else like that, I told them that my sister is stuck in my apartment with a broken leg and she's the and I was going to videotape the animals and show the tape to her so she was going to help us decide on which dog to get but while we were filling out the form the woman said that she needs they, they need to meet her the point of the story is that I need to find a girl who looks a little bit like me who will put on a phony cast and walk around with a crutch Heads, 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 heads. What is it? It's heads! All right! This is gonna work out great! Mm. <laughs> I'm on Percocet right now because I'm ill and, um, did I say something after that? Well, even without sound, the short is humorous. Uh, I hope you reach your goal. Su Li sent me an email about, okay, yeah, you know, this happens a lot, I should talk about this now. People email me pictures and ask for advice about the, f about the comic industry. They want to do their own comics and they're asking me for advice. I'm going to make a, a, bit, a little bit of an announcement right now. I don't know anything about making comics! It's a hobby of mine! I haven't made any money! This, I, I'm just wasting my time! Don't ask me for advice! I don't know! I can't help you! Neither can I help you about animation! I can't help you... I'm no... Buy a book! Ask a teacher. Don't ask me. I don't know what I'm doing. You're way better figuring out how to do this on your own. Everybody, we found something else we can do while the power is out. Everybody, we uh, found something else we can do while the uh, power is out. This one, this, two. This one? Wait, this one? This one? I'm here at the diner with the girls, and I'm going to give them the drawing they wanted. Here, give me the camera. You say, now, now you're okay with being on film. All right, now I'm okay with being on film. Now it's too late. <laughs> right. On the first page. The reason you had you, I drew you with the bangs is because you wouldn't let me tape you, and <laughs> I forgot what you looked like, All so right. I just had to fake it. Fair enough. Fair enough. And you gave me nice rack. Yeah, I noticed I'm quite busty. In there. <laughs> I appreciate that. And uh, obviously this isn't my car. It's got toys and things like that all over the place.
instead of um, riding on the water rides and waving my hands in the air on the coasters, uh, we decided to just waste our time with these uh, homosexual arts and crafts. Please place them toward the center of the car seat and not on the outside edges. Spin it the right way. Yeah. Oh, you eating? This is not black. Spin the camera. No, the other way. That's good. That's a black and white. No, it's not black and white. It's 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 color, but you have. Okay, 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 okay. So now say something. How tasteful it is. It's wonderful. That's good. You're spinning the camera. Uh, you don't have to do it all over. No, back a little bit. Okay, right there. Okay. Now videotape whatever is interesting. Okay, so what can be interesting over here? It's almost halfway through the year, and I'm not almost halfway through the film. The really? lobster doesn't go, doesn't fly out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> right after the meal, he got really tired and just passed out. My racist self was convinced it was some sort of un-American trait, you know, that she has this alien blood that can digest this, these, these spicy fish products and, and, you know, still keep her lucidity while we were fall prey to its, you know, magical potion. Everybody, I broke up with the ball and chain yesterday. But today I'm less sad. Uh, we agreed to keep in contact with each other. We agreed to keep in contact with each other. It'll take your mind off of things, and it'll make you feel a lot better. And Terry was an asshole anyway, you know? I mean, he never... I mean, honestly, all those times... You wanted to go to Adams Morgan. How many times did he go with you? He didn't care. Yeah, he didn't go. So he wasn't any good for that stuff anyway. He was, he's, a, he's pretty much just a jerk. Right, one, two, three. It, and she called me. I suppose there's a little contest after words to who calls who first, but um, I won. She contacted me. And we have a nice close-up of Dahlia where she jiggles a little bit and makes everybody happy. I thought it would have been nice. And it is nice. Here's the background. And I wanted to have a full shot of her leaning over because you can't see that, can you? There we go. I wanted to have a full shot of her from the background because, you know, it looks cute. And I just, I just want you to tell everybody what you think. Oh, you went to the mall and stalked people. No. Yeah. Way to go. That was at a convention. Oh, man, this touchpad's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. a short and curly on your mic. <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. Look. It's not my fault. No, no. Look, see? See that? I'll just try it again. Gibson and Dahlia would be pretty much the main characters. Okay. That was gay, Terry. Oh, sure. <laughs> you whiny little bitch. <laughs> Since I had extra time before they opened up, I decided to go for a ride. I'd go for a little spin. The weather's nice and everything, and I went and got myself lost. <clears throat> I scared the poor clerk at the gas station. He, um, what happened was he, uh, he saw me outside. You know, taping the uh, the segment of me next to the pumps, and as soon as I walk in, he's like, "Oh, are you from a television station?" And I said, "No, uh, I'm just, you know regular guy with a video camera." And then he got all nervous, and he's like, "Oh, so what do you think of the store, huh? Huh? Do you like the the way it looks?" He's asking for my approval on everything. That dumb bastard. Can you see them? Why are there gate doors in the middle of the field? It probably has something to do with the horses. You want to see the horses? I'm in a town called Clifton, and, and I'm hungry.
and it was sort of for the best because it took me a while to afford it, but I, f I bought a, a digital video camera. And uh, I, I thought about it and I realized this is probably karmatic retribution for... Car. Car. Get it? Uh, this is probably my punishment for mistreating all those customers who I talk to on the phone who call me up for their stupid problems and I roll my eyes at them. I'm walking home, so obviously the car is not okay. As it turns out, it's going to cost $850 to repair correctly. From the uh, second part of the uh, animation, and I realized that it's not really bad, and it deserves to have a celebration. So I am um, I'm having a party. I invited some friends over. There's a bug in my coffee. <sighs> you know, I actually have some advice now as far as animation is concerned. If anybody's interested in doing their own little independent animations, uh, you're gonna research animation supplies and you're gonna find them to be expensive and it's unnecessary. You can use whatever pencil you like, you can use whatever drawing table you like, and you can use whatever paper you like. I ran out of paper and I'm here to get another ream cut and what's embarrassing is I don't have any blanks to give to the clerk and so I only have this one over here. You know, I don't think they care though. When you take a camera with you on the road, these things you, you just find these things, you know. Hey, All right, just saying, don't press. Wait, don't press not, the button. Not yet, okay. not yet. I was supposed to stop by visit everybody, but I've been sick all my all my vacation, so now it's too late. Maybe next year. Hello. That's very good. Okay. Everybody, everybody's gonna love that. Okay. 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 I was sick. You, you know that. Yes, you were. I were. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I was very sick. I really. Know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's enough. That, wait a minute! Okay. He's, he's got a fluffy tail! <laughs> Hello! Very flattered that you kept that end here, now you can say. Oh! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Preach it, brother! Do it! <laughs> Dan! Dan! <laughs> hey! For something I'm barely working on, I'm getting pretty sick of this cartoon. Yeah, you know what I mean? The first thing I'm going to need is some collapsible furniture and some storage boxes. And since this is for my uh, ball and chain, I'm going to shop no place but the best. And you figure that when you finish, you know, this is a big day. You know, I finished all of the animation. 
you figure there'd be some sort of like celebration or some sort of party or some sort of event or some sort of excitement just to punctuate and stress the the seriousness of the progress but All of the raw, I'm going to show you all what the third act looks like, all of the drawings I did. <laughs> Remember the oh, okay. What is it? You have to add, you have to do some sort of like intro to establish the shot. One, two, three. Anime has gotten really popular so much so that they're actually opening shops specifically devoted to it. Here's a. Do you consider yourself a, a patron to one of these kinds of places? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. All right, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. After I ask you the question, I'll hand you the microphone. You can answer. Okay. Have you ever heard of the online comics Third Wish or Your Half? No, I haven't. No. No? No? Alright, good. It's not actually good. It's funny when you say no, you know, because that I'm the cartoonist who's drawn these two comics for the past couple of years. And I'm they're slowly gaining popularity, you know? And going to places and people who are actually interested in this sort of thing and asking them if they're familiar with the work I've done for so long and you know, when they say no, it's sort of like demeaning, therefore funny. You know, that's the gag. To you, it's the gag. To us, we don't know because we haven't seen your work. That's probably for the best. One, two, three, good. I went out to lunch with the ball and chain. And we went to the restaurant next to the pet store. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's a tiny video camera. It works just the, like the old ones do, except it's small, it's lightweight, and the battery lasts a long time. Gosh. Yeah. And uh, one of the fish I uh, bought for a rice bowl died. And then there's Long Mountain. And then there's Buck Mountain. Drive up or worked on the drive when it was put in. And uh, she runs that little mercantile grocery store down there and she's been up here one time. Wow.
you really think I'm gonna tape myself ripping off the story? Are you out of your mind? My mom is gonna watch this. I know. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry you've listened to a nasally voice in this entire documentary. There's nothing I could do about it, okay? One, two, three. All right, the Dahlia thing. And uh, the first girl I talked to was from California. She was really talented. She probably had the best voice for Dahlia, but she's all the way in California. I wanted the, the girl actually to come over here for a recording session. And she was almost willing to actually come down here from California, but she was expecting to get paid, so that didn't work out. Uh, the next girl I talked to, um, uh, halfway through the conversation, I sort of got the feeling that she wasn't the one. So I started goofing on her. And uh, she eventually hung up on me. And then I decided on a girl from... Maryland. You'll be seeing her soon. And then I talked to a really old woman. She was like 50 plus. It was a very awkward conversation. Uh, and then I talked to another woman from the other side of Virginia who is going to do the voice of the little Liss character. Everything is coming together. I was invited to my next door neighbor's to drink some beer. And he has turtles, so let's go see the turtles. Uh, I have to find something that she'd really like. Yeah, this one's not dangerous at all, right? Or is he? Oh, no. I'm trying to scare you away. Oh, I'm not scared, though. Hi. And now we're waiting for Dahlia. <laughs> Okay, hi, uh, my name is Laura and I will be doing the voice of Dahlia. I'm gonna get myself a drink. Yeah. Yeah. You realize that's their right side when you put your left hand out on their right side. Alright, <laughs> left, right, you get it, yeah. Left, Lons, you, I'm it gets... Liz. Well, you're, you're saying like, you know, call me Liz. Yeah, it's Liz. Oh, oh it's just full of this grape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, sweetie, are you finished with the uh, lunch yet? Rice bowl. Yeah, honey. Where's it's lunch? done. Bring, bring it over here. Okay. It's ready. Enjoy fish. Can I get a drink too? Yeah, oh yeah, sure. She colored her hair. With? You! I didn't color my hair. Half of her hair is blonde and half of it's gray. <laughs> Which half? Yours! Well, where's the half? What half? The, in the back, it's all gray, and in the side and the top, it's all yellow. You didn't get everything with the color. I didn't get it! Look, 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 here. You wanna see? 
Come over here to the camera. How can I see in the back? No, you. I'll show you the video. Show me. All right, here's the front. Okay, stand still. Right? Yeah. And then turn around. See, now it's gray. Well, how can I see it? You got the large one. You got the large one, right? Something interesting happened. My uh, ball, my roommate's boss's boss had a couple of stray kittens that he wanted to get rid of, so my roommate volunteered to take one. As it turns out, I went in to get the we went in a few minutes ago to get the cats. I wanted to videotape me getting the cat, but it was a really nice house, and I didn't really know them, so I didn't. So what the point of the story is, I got this scratched really f badly. Dr. Cat, no. sitting in the garbage. How cute. Scented candles? Not scented can. One, two, three. Hey, uh, what happened was, uh, some one of Rice Bowl's friends told me that as a housewarming gift, I should have brought her either candles, uh, a candle, candles, or uh, detergent, soap. Uh, and what's supposed to, what that's supposed to mean is uh, that the soap uh, the bubbling action of the soap represents the explosion of good fortune or wealth, and as does the the fire from the candle. There's nothing on. There's nothing on TV. Christmas morning. Merry Christmas. I'll show you the sun one more time. It does. I swear to God, the news said it was gonna eclipse today, and here I got. I went outside and everything. I'll show you one more time. Before. Oh, it's cold. Today, I'm going to record most of Gibson's tracks for the cartoon. I got the sound effect I needed and I burned the sponge. I have a feeling that this will be the... <clears throat> oh, come on. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Okay. Oh, come on! <coughs> I've raised the pitch on Daya's voice and I've lowered the pitch on mine. <laughs> I haven't figured out what to do, but I figured out where to go. If I went to some sleazy restaurant or a bar or someplace fun and interesting like that, none of the video footage would come out because it'd be too noisy and the lighting would be bad. The only place I can go is the diner. Uh, here we go. Happy New Year. Whatever you want to say, and just talk nice and loud into oh, the microphone. Okay, everybody. Um, Happy New Year. Okay, good. Well, no. Just say, no. just say Happy no. New Year. No. Please, if you Happy want. New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> uh, you have a very happy New Year, okay? Okay, two sisters. I'm telling a funny joke. Okay, okay. We gotta synchronize this, okay? Okay, one, one second. One, two, three. three. What What's do you call cheese that's not yours? <laughs> Nacho <laughs> cheese! <laughs> and the prostitute was like, well, what do you think for $2.50? You're gonna get crabs, not lobsters. Ha ha ha. She's a little shy. <laughs> I don't like her much. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you're not shy anymore. <laughs> One, two, three. Happy Ready? New Year, One, two, three. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. It's okay. Thank you very much. It's 
January 18th, 2001, and I finished the Third Wish Animated Short. I don't need to show you the final result of the animated short because you watched it in the beginning of this video so long ago. I don't know exactly how I want to end the video documentary. You know you guys were just ripped off? I got an email from somebody who said that they had some crummy local cable access television show and they want to interview me. And so I thought to myself, hey, great! You know, not only would that be kind of fun, but in addition to that, I can use it to finish, wrap up, and summarize the entire video documentary. There we go. The room is too small to get everybody in shot. I'll just keep it on me and give clips of everybody else later. The room is too small to get everybody in shot. I'll just keep it on me and give clips of everybody else later. We're about to begin. Before we actually begin, I figured we should get everybody's names. I'm Tras Simchina, in case you didn't know. The young lady here. Take, take this and say your name. I'm Joni Chan. All right, and the camera operator is? Mike McCartney. She's black-haired, wearing a red sweater. He's blonde-haired, wearing a blue pullover. Um... For editing purposes? What? How's this? How, try not to reach for your drink when you're... While I'm talking? Yeah. Okay. Um... For editing purposes? What? How's this? How, try not to reach for your drink when you're... While I'm talking? Yeah. Okay. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? Is this the last bit? Are we done? Uh, I believe so. Unless oh. you have something else to add. Oh, Jesus. I guess this is already done. I should have said, we haven't actually really said... We're almost done. We haven't actually said anything interesting. I'm sorry. Do we have enough material already? We don't have enough material for the whole show. I'm here to make the final comment uh, of Terry's uh, year-long effort to do some of the god-awful worst anime that I've ever seen. And uh, I just want to say that he's put a lot of his life into doing this and most of it was done so that he wouldn't have to move back to New Jersey because God knows what New Jersey's like and I've seen some pictures so you don't know the guy is coming from just a bad side of town.